But hey guys, it's been about a week since we last had a normal video at the channel. And while VG News is something I'm very excited about, we are, are not done making solo Nintendo content videos. There just hasn't been anything to talk about. Well, at least there wasn't anything to talk about until now, until right now. Because while this news does pertain to another company, it has massive implications for Nintendo Switch and highly likely Nintendo Switch 2. Maybe even more so for Nintendo Switch 2. You see, we have the stories break earlier about how Xbox is planning to bring games to other platforms, including PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch. And we know what the three games were in Pentiment, Sea of Thieves, and Grounded, right? And Grounded's already, you know, out there. You can kind of go play that, take care of it, buy it, uh, Sea of Thieves and stuff to be announced later, all this stuff. So that's really exciting. But did you know that this is just the beginning? It appears if these games perform well on Nintendo Switch, yes, folks, Microsoft is considering bringing potentially, if not their entire library, most of their library of future games to a Nintendo platform. You're, you're talking even things like Hellblade 2. You're talking things like the rumored Gears of War game coming. You're talking Halo. I know a lot of this wouldn't be on the normal Switch. It would be Switch 2. We got to dive into this because we're getting this news from The Verge. So you see this article written by Tom Warren. It says, Microsoft loses key executive amid continued gaming shakeup. And you'd be like, well, what does this have to do with anything? Well, let's read the article and you'll find out. Xbox executive Kareem Cloudry is leaving Microsoft after more than 26 years at the company. Windows Central reports that Cloudry's last day is today and his departure has triggered a shakeup of some teams inside Xbox. Cloudry's departure comes just six months after a big shape shakeup of Xbox leadership and amid continued changes to Microsoft's gaming strategy. All right, so then they go into some AI plans here, which we're not really concerned with the AI plans or their plans across Windows and Xbox. Obviously, they're going to have plans for that because Microsoft literally is Windows. But this is where things get interesting. The latest Xbox shakeup comes as Microsoft continues to consider strategy changes for its Microsoft gaming division. Earlier this year, Microsoft placed a number of previously Xbox exclusive games on PlayStation 5 and Nintendo Switch with Sea of Thieves set to launch on Sony's console April 30th. Again, not announced for a Switch yet. Many people think that Sea of Thieves may be a Switch 2 title, which is why it's not announced yet. But this is, this is where things get real fascinating. Sources familiar with Microsoft plans tell me, so Tom Warren is the reporter on this, that the company continues to evaluate other Xbox exclusive games coming to PlayStation 5. And you go, okay, yeah. What about Switch? I understand Sea of Thieves. So that game will be a key test for whether other games might make their way to PlayStation 5 or Nintendo Switch. Now, you also see some other news in here about, news in here about how Microsoft is working on next-gen hardware, yada, 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 right? Uh, but that is exciting. You see the, the Gears of War rumor down here. Uh, we talked about all of that. They have Indiana Jones game coming. But this is the big thing here. I understand the Sea of Thieves coming to Switch will be a key test for whether other games might make their way to PlayStation 5 or Nintendo Switch. And again, we presume this would mean also Nintendo Switch 2 because, again, the Switch probably has less than a year of being the primary platform. So, folks, that is stupidly exciting. And this is where we have to get into just talking about how Microsoft obviously has been making all these shifts into going third party and as upsetting as that has been to Xbox only gamers because hey look all your games are going to be elsewhere you can still enjoy them on the Xbox ecosystem in fact the fact that they're planning to make a next generation system should make you feel comfortable at least in the here and now it's not like they're not going to release their own games on their own platform but it is obviously understandable for Microsoft that now they own all these studios at some point, they got to be worried about making the most amount of profits. And right now, the most amount of profits they can make is being a third party publisher. And we're already seeing inroads made on certain things. We've already seen Sony made MLB The Show going to other platforms. A lot of Sony games going to PC as well. And we obviously see Xbox moving a bunch of their stuff over to Switch and PlayStation 5. Honestly, folks, I, I this might actually make me pick up Sea of Thieves. Not because Sea of Thieves is good, because it is, but because I want to support this notion of Microsoft, including Nintendo, 
in their consideration for all of their future releases. And yes, I realize Switch is on its way out, but I would just care that these games come to Switch 2. Can you Halo Infinite on Switch 2, Gears of War 6 on Switch 2, Hellblade 2 on Switch 2. How about the next Elder Scrolls game, right? We already have Skyrim on Switch, so the next Elder Scrolls game. How about keeping all of the Doom games and the Wolfenstein games continuing to come to Nintendo's next platform? Can you see why I have a, a lot of excitement here because some of the companies that Microsoft bought literally already brought their games to Switch in the past and have seen success. So if Microsoft continues to see success with games like Grounded, Sea of Thieves, and Pentiment, then all of a sudden, they have much more incentive to continue to provide their games to the Nintendo audience. And yes, they're going to do well on PlayStation. I'm not worried about the PlayStation audience buying up these games. They're going to buy the games that they're interested in playing. But I am just... I'm really happy uh, because I, I, I do think that these games are going to sell well on Nintendo's platform. And while we don't have confirmation right now that they absolutely 1000% are going to be bringing all their future games to Switch 2, this is a massive hint in that direction that it's a possibility. Now, again, this is just a report by Tom Warren. We, you know, for our purposes, it's not like we can confirm all this. You can consider it a rumor if you want, even though it's from a reputable person at a reputable outlet. This still just makes me really, really excited for Nintendo Switch 2. And look, you guys know what we've been, we've been excited for Switch 2 for quite some time. I mean, heck, we, we kind of went uh, a little bit excited, a little bit over a patent earlier that we put out in VG News. Now, setting all of that aside, uh, I just want to end this video for those that made it this far. What are you guys thinking of, of, of VG News? Uh, I've seen some mostly positive feedback, but some negative as well uh, to address some of the negative comments. People saying like, hey, I'm going to unsubscribe because you're no longer a Nintendo channel or hey, uh, you know, you should change your channel name, which I find kind of ironic because we're still planning to make individual videos just like this. We just haven't had news to do it with. Well, until this piece here. This is how slim picking the news has really been. Outside of like the Switch 18.0.0 update last week, there really hasn't been a ton to dig into that really matters. And a lot of us Nintendo channels are just beating our head against the Switch 2 and the Nintendo Direct stuff. And again, look at this video. It's also kind of being swung into the Switch 2 direction. Although I would argue that's kind of where the news would lean at this point, since it's about future games coming over. So I don't know, guys. Uh, I just want to know your thoughts on VG News. We're going to keep it going. The plan is to have a VG News episode every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but also one or two individual Nintendo news videos as well. We just have to have the news to actually put into those videos. It has to be worthwhile news. Got to remember, when you're making a single topic video, you got to have a topic that actually can carry itself and carry the viewership. Uh, any topic that can't do that makes much more sense for video game news. Uh, so that's kind of how we're approaching it there. And yes, weekends will not have VG news at all. It'll just be this. We'll still have our normal live streams, our podcasts, all of that stuff as well. So no, folks, we're still a Nintendo channel. We're just expanding a little bit. I don't think there's anything wrong with being a Nintendo channel that also keeps up with some of the biggest things happening across the whole industry, but it's not like that's gonna be all we do. It just feels like it over the last five days, because again, we haven't had any news, and that's really on Nintendo. When I talk about news, I mean like big things to really talk about. Uh, and, and the one thing we had, the patent, the time that news landed, it made more sense to put it into the next VG News, but there's no VG News tomorrow, so. Here you go with this thing. Thank you guys so much for being here. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.